Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video today we're kind of going to do like a you versus them style love reading where we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person and kind of just like unpack it and unfold it from there. This is a general love reading Taurus. If it resonates, hit that like button to let me know. And if you enjoyed this style of reading and you want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. This reading can be good for all Taurian placements and to the cross watchers, you're also welcome. I do advise just to take what best speaks for you. Otherwise, you can reverse the roles. Feel free to check out your other placements also if you feel that your message isn't here today. Uh, I will not be doing any personal readings at this time so just keep an ear out and an eye out for when I am back up and running and doing personal readings but for now guys I'm not doing any personal readings. To those of you who have already booked a personal reading in it is locked, it's safe and it's secure but it really is my priority just to get back on top of creating content here on the channel. Thank you for being patient with me, Taurus. Let's begin your reading. You're coming through as the mouse. The mouse. Mm, this is good because this is earth energy. The mouse is earth energy and you are an earth sign. Okay. Your person is coming through as the firefly, which is air energy. So you could be connecting to a an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, what's going on here? Hmm. It's really interesting. If you look at the mouse and the firefly, they're they're both in the dark. So I feel like what's happening here is you're both in the dark about a situation or you're both in the dark when it comes to each other's intentions or feelings okay um, it feels like yeah it just it's obvious to me that it feels like you're both in the dark about what the other one is thinking what the other one is feeling what the other one is up to what the other one is doing it kind of makes me feel like there's a separation here Or that you guys are separate or you guys are distant uh, I feel like you kind of just focused on yourselves mm. I feel for you uh, Taurus you're focused on other other matters or other things right now I feel like you're focused on your stability you're focused on, you know, the projects or the tasks that are in front of you. Mm. And you're just, you're keeping to yourself, I feel, Taurus. You're keeping to yourself here with the mouse. Mm. And your person is kind of like in the same energy. I do want to tell you, though, that your person still is attracted to you see the firefly this is like a spark they still hold a flame for you they still carry a torch for you I feel like they're trying to find you or they're trying to find their way back to you somehow some way they're trying to figure it out hmm Let's break this down, shall we? Let's break this down. I feel like you're in this space or you've been in this place of analysing this person because the mouse pays attention to the tiny little details. So I'm getting a very analytical energy surrounding the mouse. So I feel like you've been heavily analysing and maybe critiquing this person. But let's see. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, tell me more about Taurus's energy. Why is Taurus coming through as the mouse? Why is Taurus coming through as the mouse? The Five of Wands. Hmm. That's interesting. Interesting. 
Yeah, I feel like you guys may have had a falling out. I feel like there was a fight or conflict here. It feels like you guys have been clashing. Okay, you've been clashing or you've been butting heads with one another. Hmm. You may feel like this person constantly creates drama or conflict. And Taurus doesn't do well with conflict. Taurus doesn't want drama. Taurus doesn't want problems. Okay, um, I'm a Taurus moon, so I can relate to that. Like, we, we don't want drama. Like, we just want peace. We want stability. We want security. We don't want any fighting. Like... No one's got time for that. Four of Swords. That's interesting because the Four of Swords is here. So I feel maybe, Taurus, that you have called time out. Okay, you've called time out. You're the one that's called time out because you're, you're exhausted. King of Pentacles, look at that. Beautiful. So you're very much in control here of the situation. You know, the King of Pentacles, he's in charge. He's in charge. You're in charge here. Mm. Okay, give me a moment to have a look at this. I feel that you are coming across Taurus as very reserved and very closed off and very guarded. Okay. You may feel like at this time you've needed a break. Okay. Uh, especially if there was, a, if there's a lot of drama. Okay. If you've experienced a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting uh, in your situation, then I can see why you need time out. I can see why you need to take a break because you're exhausted and you need to take care of yourself and you need to look after yourself. And I feel like by doing that, you're creating a sense of stability and security within yourself again. Because I do get with the mouse spirit, maybe this person has made you feel anxious or, or, or nervous because it's like, well, what, what are they going to, what problem are they going to start this time? You know, the five of wands, it, it's drama and you don't want no drama. You don't want no fighting. Mm. So I'm looking at the, the bull heads here on the King of Pentacles throne and that just makes me feel like this is you very strongly um you know in your power in the seat of authority okay that's that's really good tell me more about your person's energy spirit tell me more okay so the three of cups look at that I like that because I felt that like this person's still interested in you. I feel like with the three of cups that this person wants a reconciliation. Okay. They want to restore and renew the connection here with you. Hmm. Tell me more, why is this person that Taurus is connecting to coming through as a firefly? Oh, look at this. The sun card could be connecting to a Leo. Okay, they're feeling hopeful or they're feeling positive about a reconciliation. Oh, okay, nine of swords. I feel like this nine of swords is this person's really missing you. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to figure things out. I feel like you're currently reviewing the situation with the Four of Swords. 
I feel like on your person's end, you know, you've got the Four of Swords, they've got the Nine of Swords. So they're in a deeper st state of stress, anxiety or worry here. Um, I'm getting a loneliness surrounding this person also. Okay, they're feeling lost and they're feeling lonely, um, but they are holding on to this hope. Okay, they are holding on to this hope that you guys uh, can reconcile maybe differences. Okay, I just need to clarify this Nine of Swords. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? No. Come, why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay, look at this. Nine of Pentacles, that's you, and the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. They're viewing you as someone who is very uh, confident within themselves with the Nine of Pentacles. They're viewing you as someone who is very confident, very independent, very self-sufficient. They're viewing you as someone who no longer needs them or maybe even wants them. And it's kind of stressing them out. It's, it's bothering them. It's worrying them. Mm. And they're trying to figure out here with the Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to figure out what they can do for maybe a, a peaceful reconciliation or a positive reunion. They're trying to figure out what can they do. They're trying to make plans here, but hmm. That's really interesting. Whereas you, you've got the Four of Swords, so it's not as intense for you. And I feel like it's not as intense for you. You're not so stressed and you're not so worried because you've got the King of Pentacles here. You know, so you're in that powerful position. You know what you want, you know what you don't want, you know what you will and you won't tolerate or you know what you will and you won't put up with, you know your value, you know what you have to offer. And the fact that the Nine of Pentacles is coming in with the Nine of Swords, this person knows that you're the prize. They know with the Nine of Pentacles that you are the catch. And that you are a good catch. And they're trying to figure out how can I catch my Taurus? How can I win my Taurus back? Because they know that you're a good catch. And they're worried that they're going to lose that good catch. Okay, so what is this person's intention, Spirit? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Tell us more. What is this person's intentions? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Well, the Eight of Swords is one step down from the Nine of Swords. So that's something that I'm, I'm noticing. The Ace of Wands here. Okay. So it's very clear here that this person has intentions to have a new beginning here with you with the Ace of Wands. Okay, they intend to have a new beginning here with you. They intend to make plans to reach out. Okay, they intend to make plans here to reach out and see if you guys are willing to um, re-spark or reignite the spark in this connection. Okay, they, they intend to reignite the spark here or recreate the spark. Because I feel like the fire and the fizzle has gone out of this connection. Because you're both in the dark here. 
Now with the Ace of Wands, this person is still very much attracted to you. Okay, they're very much attracted to you. Attracted to you. You turn this person on. This person still fancies you. Mm. They feel that there is a lot, um, a lot of positives. They feel like there is a lot of positives. That there is a lot of good in this connection in this relationship hmm. now the eight of swords is this person's fears it's it's the way they think it's fears or thoughts that limit them that um that keep them trapped that keep them blocked it's kind of like a self-sabotaging energy so there's something that this person does, which is not, it's not obvious here, but there's something that they do that continuously sabotages the connection. And maybe it is like you, you're saying over here with the Five of Wands, we constantly butt heads, Rosa. We, we clash. So let me just clarify. Let me just expand on the Eight of Swords. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Yeah, look at this, the Three of Pentacles. So... They work against you as opposed to working with you. And it's it's a self-sabotaging energy. And maybe they're not even aware that they do this. There could be like an inferior, inferior complex. This person may have an inferior complex. Because you're coming through as the king of pentacles. They're coming through as the knight of pentacles. This person's kind of like showing me... They're kind of saying, oh, Taurus thinks they know everything. That's what it feels like. They feel like there's someone, they feel that you know everything or every what you say is the way. Um, so I'm just getting like they are inferior to you or they feel inferior to you. But I actually don't feel like they are aware of this. To me, the Eight of Swords, the woman in the Eight of Swords, she's wearing a blindfold. So this person isn't even aware that they feel this way. So it's, it's something that is unconscious to them. You know, there's, they've got like a little bit of an immaturity or an immature energy about them. Yeah. Let me just grab another card. So I feel here what's happening here is instead of resisting you, instead of pushing back, instead of, you know, fighting with you, they're willing to cooperate. They're willing to compromise. They're willing to be flexible with you. That's what I'm getting here. Do I want to get another one? Yeah, because with the Seven of Wands, this person wants to save what you have. Okay, they're willing to, to fight for this connection. They're willing to save it. Okay, they're going to plead their case. They're going to give you reasons as to why you should have a new beginning or why you should take them back. Look at this, Page of Pentacles with their actions. This is like, I'm sorry, Taurus. Um, what can I do to save this? What can I do to make this better? Um, it's like, what can I do? And I will do it. They're like literally getting down on bended knee, you know? Tell me more about this person's actions. Look at this, the strength card. They're going to try harder. That's what I'm hearing here with the strength card. They're going to try harder. Okay, they're going to work hard to fix things with you. The chariot. So we've got Leo energy here. We've got Cancerian energy here. Mm, I like that. This person is determined to fix the relationship, to mend the connection. The strength card tells me that this person is very committed and loyal to the relationship. 
They're committed to working things out. They're committed to improving themselves or doing better. You know, the Page of Pentacles is the student. So there's something here that this person is learning. And I feel like you are teaching them something. Because you're coming in as the King of Pentacles. So this person's kind of like you're teaching them something and they're following your footsteps here. The chariot is determined energy, okay? And it's also a initiative energy. So this person is going to initiate some kind of change or some kind of action. Okay, this is, it's a card of movement. So I feel that they will move towards you. I feel like they will approach you here. Can we clarify the chariot spirit? Um, what's interesting here with the chariot is there's two sphinxes and these sphinxes can represent opposing views or opposition. So with regards to their actions, I feel like they, they don't want to oppose you. They want to work with you. They want to get this relationship back on track, essentially, with the, with the chariot. Can we please expand on the chariot? Mm. See, the two of pentacles. Look at that. I like that because this is a card of flexibility. This person is willing to be flexible with you here. Whereas maybe with the strength card here, they were, they were very stubborn. Um, they they were too in their ego you know but it feels like they're they're taming that side of themselves and they're following their heart because they really want to make things work here with you mm. And with the Two of Pentacles I always I get priorities so this person is prioritizing you all right let's take a look at how you're going to respond to this situation you've got the star card here spirit how is taurus going to respond the will of fortune wow that's two major arcanas how is taurus going to respond okay five of pentacles and the six of wands hmm Okay, I just need to analyze these cards. Okay, I feel like let's start with the star card because the star card does represent healing. Okay. Can we just clarify the star card, Spirit? Why is the star card here? The Fool. Ah. So for some of you Taurians, I feel that you are going to release this person. I'm getting that very, very strongly. I'm looking at the woman in the star card. She's releasing the water. She's pouring water out of these, these urns that she's holding onto. And I feel like you're going to release this person or you're going to let this person go. Because for some of you with the full card here, you've gotten to the point where you just don't care anymore. You just don't care. You just want to go off in a different direction. You want to have a new beginning. For some of you with the star card, you're releasing yourself from this person so you can heal yourself. I feel like maybe you're in a state of recovery. You're trying to recover. You're trying to, yeah, recover yourself from, from a relationship that maybe was toxic. You know, because with the five of pentacles here, this person made you feel abandoned. They made you feel rejected. You know, they didn't consider your views or your feelings here. 
And it's kind of like with the Five of Pentacles, you're saying it's too late, Rosa. The Wheel of Fortune, my feelings towards this person have changed. Can we just clarify the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, your feelings towards this person have changed because you've made some kind of growth. The Chariot, look at that. The Chariot. You've made some growth. Yeah. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot, you're determined to release yourself. Okay, I don't feel like you want to um, create a new cycle with this person. I actually feel like you want to create a new cycle somewhere else. You want to move forward with your life. Mm. Because you feel here with the Six of Wands that this person that you're connecting to is too arrogant. Okay. You you feel like they're too arrogant. You feel like they are constantly on their high horse. Can we just clarify this Six of Wands? Tell me more about this Six of Wands. The Six of Cups. Mm. yeah you know the six of cups in the six of cups there's two people that really care about one another but you're saying here rosa i'm just focused forward because you know this person's too arrogant they don't show that they care there's something in here that you're saying to me that they only think of themselves. If they really loved me, they would show me that they care. But over time, this person has just thought it was their way or the highway. It's constantly their way or the highway with the Six of Wands. But in a relationship, it's about considering two people. You know, but you feel here, well, now I'm just going to consider my own needs and, and consider what I want. And I, I actually feel here with the cards like this that you're not looking back. I don't feel like you're looking back, Taurus. You're, you're focused forward. Hmm. All right, let's grab a last putting message, shall we? So that's what I see for you right now, Taurus. Um, I do hope that this reading has been useful or helpful in some way. Let's grab a last putting message for our Taurians. No, this one. Oh, priority lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. That's you. I feel like that's you, the Six of Wands. You're like Rosa... No, my priorities have changed. My priorities have shifted. I can no longer prioritize this person or this relationship. Mm. That's really interesting. Oh, prior I read that as priority priorities lie lies ahead, but it's prosperity. Prosperity lies ahead. See how's that? That's so funny because I read prosperity as priorities. I really do feel that you will be prioritizing you. So that's how you're going to respond to this situation. It's You're doing whatever is best, whatever is in your best interest here. That's what you're going to do. And I feel like that's where the success or the victory will be here for you, Taurus. So that's where I leave the reading. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for supporting the channel, guys. And I will see you in my next Taurian video. Bye, guys.